Today I'm going to show you how I tied my front door area together after that mess of a DIY pumpkin tree with this boo door hang that is typically made of wood but I decided to make it out of cardboard and for free. So I gathered up some old cardboard boxes that I had, white spray paint, hot glue, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, some rope, and scissors. You can definitely buy poster board if you want to, but I just cut open and laid the cardboard box flat so I had a larger surface to work with so I can make larger letters for our front door. I actually took a measuring tape and just measured out about 15 inches because that's how big I wanted my letters to be. And then I just freehanded B-O-O -O for boo. You can do whatever kind of word, whatever kind of design. Then you want to protect the surface that you'll be cutting on and just use your X-Acto knife to cut out all the letters and it'll look something like this. When you lay out your letters for B-O-O, -O, I just poked holes on the top of the bottom O and then top and bottom holes on the middle O and then bottom holes on my B because I want to connect them. I spray painted mine white, but you can obviously do whatever kind of color you want. You could even add spray adhesive and do glitter if that's your style. But after I was satisfied with how they looked, I just went ahead and grabbed my rope and hot glue and my scissors because I'm going to trim them out to class them up a little bit. Now you can obviously do whatever kind of trim that you want, but you're just going to want to put a little tiny line of hot glue on the outside of the letters and closely follow with whatever trim you're using because it does dry pretty quickly. The reason that I added trim, you don't have to, but I wanted it to look a little bit more clean and straight around the edges instead of rough like the cardboard. I wanted to mimic the wood on a budget essentially. I then cut out six pieces of rope the same length because this is how we're going to attach the letters together. You're going to flip the word over, feed them through each hole and tie them together with the knot being on the back side so you can't see it. When you are done connecting all the pieces, you're just gonna flip it over and you are finished. This is the final product. I actually am obsessed with it. It almost reminds me of stitches in between each letter, so it gives that little spooky feel in my opinion, but keeps it really minimal and cute. So there you guys have it. It ties the white in with the pumpkin tree that I wasn't sure of that I made on Wednesday. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out and I'll see you Friday for another DIY.